It's two teams that have the same aspirations, and that's winning the NBA championship. With only one inside track to those aspirations, the Bulls are in the driver's seat for the number one seed in the East. While the Heat are riding shotgun, ready to take over the wheel. Wait to change oh. the paradigm in the grill of John Lucas. But a loss to Chicago would put the brakes on their top seed hopes. The road to the playoffs is narrowing for the Suns out west, who must keep winning to get that final spot. But the Clippers won't give up a W that can better their own standing so easily. It's the final push to the playoffs on TNT. For the Chicago Bulls, it's a chance to clinch the number one seeding in the Eastern Conference for the second straight year. It's going to take a win in Miami over LeBron and the Heat. Including last year's Eastern Conference Finals, Miami's won the last three at home over the Bulls. Because he got all that extra credit because they were more concerned about Shaq down low. But the Miami Heat, they're not going anywhere unless LeBron James takes them to the promised land, plain and simple. In this game tonight, I know for a fact, they, they want the number one seed. So they're going to try to play this game tonight, balls out the first three quarters. If they can't get it the first three quarters, then they'll probably, you know, chill out. I, I've the been last, gone. The last uh, couple of minutes. I've I been can't say balls out. It's another beautiful day in South Florida with the building playoff storm fast approaching. Tonight, game one of our doubleheader takes us to the sold out American Airlines Arena in Miami with the NBA on TNT presented by State Farm. And a beauty to tip things off. The best team record-wise in the NBA, the Chicago Bulls taking on the Miami Heat. Chicago top, of course, the Eastern Conference, a two-and-a-half game lead on top of the Heat. Without Rose, this team is 17-8. and eight. Starting in his place tonight will be C.J. Watson. That has been the norm. All right, a matchup you're going to watch early in this game. Well, LeBron James has owned the Chicago Bulls in 32 career starts, almost 30 points a game, seven rebounds, six assists. Lyle Deng is going to have to do a great job of keeping him on the perimeter with jump shots and out of the paint area. Seven shooting performance last night against Toronto. LeBron, the cry, rather, a way the crossover and takes it inside. He was like LeBron the way he did it. Wade with a beautiful weaving move, and he finds two attacking the rim. Okay, you're talking about the crossover that looked like LeBron right there. Look how he shields his body right there and basically just uses his left hand and the glass to make sure when a sheet comes over, he can't block the shot. Looking transition here as Dane puts up the shot here. Ooh, I can see why he's ticked off. That's just a straight shiver to the grill of Joaquin Noah. Remember, Watch it. this early in a game. Look at that bang. Well, I'd like to know what precipitated it. Was he there was something? launching <laughs> that ladder directly. Are from the you nail. kidding me, Pops? Who lives down here in South Florida? Here is Chalmers. LeBron has him, dropping the sledgehammer. Coming in, what beautiful passing by the Miami Heat. More so LeBron James, and what did Coach Thibodeau talk about? Trying to keep LeBron James out of that post area. Not only can he score, but he's such a fabulous passer down low. He's got his first assist here. Hockey assists from Chalmers. And then Haslam dropping the anvil and pulling Miami to within one. I like when the officials huddle up and get it right. That's what you want at the end of the day. Nice acceleration by Watson. Put that by Anthony, deflected by Noah. The active Joaquin Noah. LeBron after Wade. What a play. LeBron with another assist in the NBA. He's number four. Watson. Tries to get into the paint area here and see the deflection there by Noah, but doesn't come up with the basketball. Put the ball in the hands of LeBron James and does a good job of finding Dwayne Wade, who was up ahead.